All right, so our, our core dot project is focused around developing this new technology for identifying thermally tolerant corals, those corals that aren't going to bleach um, right. when the water gets really hot or that are the last ones to bleach, if anything. And uh, right now we're stuck having to identify these corals when we have the natural bleaching events. But this technology will allow us to find those mm -hmm. so that we can incorporate them into the coral work in particular making more of them and helping them be more reproductively successful. That's our strategy for trying to build resilience to climate impacts and that sort of value add to your MPAs. So what we did during this trip was to go out and select corals in the genus Acropora and Pocillopora and we selected them from all around the island from different habitats on sunrise beach here, from the drop off, from the reef flat. Mm -hmm. As you girls know, the same on Manta and the same on sunrise. So that we got corals that come from different thermal environments. And um, we have GPS, so we know the location. And we also have temperature loggers at all these different locations. Okay, so that we'll know what was the thermal regime that these corals were experiencing previously. Next year when we come back, mm -hmm. right, those corals we stocked, mm -hmm. we will phenotype with our new device, take a measurement mm -hmm. and see what it says. And then we're gonna move them into hotter areas on the reef and a cool area like what we have in the nursery. And we're gonna track their growth rate over the year. But then I'm also gonna come back in the peak of the hot season towards mm -hmm. the end. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna resample and take measurements of the corals again so we can see um, whether or not they did as we expected. Mm -hmm. okay. When we take the measurements off your corals, we've already built models using corals on the coral coast, and we're gonna see how applicable that is up here. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, oh, the model says coral one, five, and seven are gonna be the best performers. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see in the hot water, are they really the best performers? Mm -hmm. And if they're not, we have the actual corals and the data from before and how they perform so we can refine our models uh, using what really happened in the field. Right? Mm -hmm. um, after a few months later, when we come back to the June in the cool season, we'll come back and we'll measure the growth rates again, okay? the, use the photogrammetry, and that way we'll see how much did each coral grow in each habitat over that one year. And that way we'll be able to evaluate are there trade-offs okay, for being thermally tolerant. Maybe you grow faster, maybe you grow slower, maybe you grow the same and there's no difference. We don't know, so that's what we're going to find out. So in the end, you guys will be left with this technology okay, and we'll have more information about the corals and where we can find thermally tolerant corals around your reef here.